going to be a quick rundown for you so that you can just get it into your head and understand what's going on. When you go into court, they ask you if your name is blah 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 John Doe. You accept that you are that person and then the court begins. This is because when you enter the court, the judge is representing you. This is an intro onto the idea is how your identity was created. Your identity is a fictional entity, or a straw man, or an all caps name. In 1666, an act of parliament created during the Black Plague and the Great Fires of London, behind closed doors, was, it, was enacted. The act being debated was the Sestake Act, which was to subrogate the rights of men and women, meaning all men and women were declared dead, lost at sea, beyond the sea. This was done during a crisis. The state took custody of everybody and their property into a trust. The state became the trustee, or the husband, holding all titles to the people and the property, until a living man comes back to reclaim those titles and can also claim damages. The trust itself is an all capitalized name, a dead entity, who had all his belongings put into a trust. This act still exists and this trust still exists. There is a statement here available, you're going to have to download it, I'm not going to sit here and tell you all about it, but basically everybody and everybody's property is declared dead even before they are born I presume but then by signing your birth certificate your parents signing your birth certificate they are being tricked into signing you over as a night as a item to the state and unless you claim your body within seven years you then become dead beyond the doubt or something I don't know it's tricky but learning your legal fictions helps you to unlock yourself otherwise you are just a vessel floating on the sea of commerce it is possible to be free from financial stress and debt parents are tricked into registering the birth of their babies deaths and marriages act was formed in the uk and the post of registrar general was established in around 1837 his job was to collect all the data from the churches basically come and collect your data to be kept behind closed doors I'm sure I just keep going over the same things over and over again, but I rolled up and must have done. Basically, when you go into court, the judge will ask, or the trustee, or the administrator, which is normally the person sat in front of the judge, the judge doesn't speak until he is known as the judge, uh, we they will ask is your name John Doe we can stand and ask are you saying that the trust which you are now administrating is the John Doe trust this establishes that we know the name is a trust not a live man the judge's first question will be what's your name or state your name for the record you must be careful and not identify with the name of the trust because this doing so makes you the trustee what you need to do is take your birth certificate with you and ask that question yourself and when they you know basically at the end of the day your birth certificate is that person who's been requested in court so if you're demanded that you that the person show himself in court you then you then issue your birth certificate to the court doing this establishes that you that the person represented is in court but the judges will not accept this because they cannot charge the company they need the person to accept the company name because otherwise the judge is the company name because he is acting as the trustee it's crazy i know it's crazy i know you think i'm crazy but this is law and it stands in law your parents are tricked into signing the signature on the birth certificate. You are then fucking 
waged off by the government as your your birth certificate is like a that is just a stock your birth certificate it's got a number at the top it's your payroll number you need that number to get a job you can't go to you can't get a job without a birth certificate but you can also not use your certificate as identification because it's not your identification it is a, it is a statement of of existence of that name but that name is a company name it's not your name you are a man a, a free man you were born a free man uh, free men and woman free man and woman that's what you are born to go to be a free man and woman now you need to enter into lawful rebellion otherwise you are acting under the treacherous government treacherous government you need to sign one of these Reminds me in the mail on its way. This is an oath of allegiance to the 25 barons who are standing under the Article 61. It's an ancient law that was uh, put into play in uh, 1200s, 800 year old. But it still stands in law, and every man and woman has a right to sign this oath of allegiance, and once they do, they become free men and women who are no longer have to oblige by civil law. The only law you have to oblige by is common law and natural law. Natural law is just natural, it comes naturally. You know, you just don't violate natural law. You don't need to talk about it, go and look for it if you want to find out what it is. But then there's common law, which is four laws. Basically, it is to not harm injure not harm cause loss or cause damage to anyone or anything and the final one is do not breach the peace there are the four laws you are protected by law by common law once you have signed this oath of allegiance you will be protected by common law and no officials of the civil law will have any power or jurisdiction over you if you don't know what that means you need to go and look it up online because it is important. This is your sovereignty. I asked the solicitor if he could advise me about this document and he said he couldn't advise me about it because he would be breaking the law. That is the law that is set down in a court of law and that is the law he has to abide by. He is not allowed to advise me on Article 61 of the Magna Carta. That's because this is the law. This is the only law you need. It's common law. Do not breach the peace, do not commit offence to another person, do not commit offence to another person's property, offences, damage or harm. You know, it's, you do not hit, do not, I'll get them out and read them, but basically it's, you do not cause harm to a person, do not cause harm to the property, do not cause fraud to a person or their property, and do not breach the peace. Peace. And that's it. And then I'm going to uh, look into the police officer's oath because the police officer signs and uh, swear to an oath of allegiance and they are peacekeepers. Um, they're to keep the peace. They have no right to arrest common law man. They have no right to touch common law man. And in common law, you can grow your own cannabis. In common law, you can sniff cocaine all you want all day long and if they arrest you you notify them of the facts of the treacherous government and then if they still further arrest you if they proceed to arrest you they are then committing high treason or treason whatever it is it don't matter they know it and they will not do it so sign the fucking oath of allegiance get on it and sort your heads out stop calling me fucking crazy stop paying your taxes stop working for a fucking tyrannical fucking government system of society because that's what it is it's a society and i don't like this society i like the civilization that that existed before the free man of the land society which we're going to be reverting to very soon the more people see this video the better get it out share it link it fucking hashtag it Put it on a USB stick, give it away for free. <laughs> I don't care, just get it out there. Do not breach the peace, 
do not commit offence to another person, do not commit offence to another person's property, offences, damage or harm, you know, not cause fraud to a person or their property, and do not breach the priest. peace. And that's it. And then I'm going to uh, look into the police officer's oath, because the police officer signs and uh, swear to an oath of allegiance, and they are peacekeepers. Um, they're to keep the peace. They have no right to arrest common law man. They have no right to touch common law man. And in common law, you can grow your own cannabis. In common law, you can sniff cocaine all you want all day long. And if they arrest you, you notify them of the facts of the treacherous government. And then if they still further arrest you, if they proceed to arrest you, they are then committing high treason or treason whatever it is it don't matter they know it and they will not do it so sign the fucking oath of allegiance get on it and sort your heads out stop calling me fucking crazy stop paying your taxes stop working for a fucking tyrannical fucking government system of society because that's what it is it's a society and i don't like this society i like the civilization that that existed before the free man of the land society which we're going to be reverting to very soon the more people see this video the better get it out share it link it fucking hashtag it i don't care just get it out there